Here's another video in our series about how things were built years ago and this would deal with roof sheathing. So currently we are using plywood or oriented strand board for our roof sheathing but a long time ago we used 1x6 and of course I'm not going back to the log cabin days. These are back, uh, let's go back into the 1940s let's say here. And uh, I've worked on a lot of houses that had this particular setup. They had one by six to um, solid sheeting to cover the roof overhangs and they made it solid and then it was spaced sheathing, spaced one by six and the spacing uh, would depend upon the roof shingle exposure. So if you had a cedar shingle with a five inch, five inch exposure, this would be the amount of it that would be seen visibly, um, or a 10 inch for a shake um, shingle roof, for example, then the spacing might actually vary or could change. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what it would look like. And a lot of times they would go two boards and then two boards, but I've seen them actually go three boards and three boards, but two boards is usually the limit before it has to break. You have to have a break, and the breaks, I know that a lot of people for sheathing um, use four foot, but uh, I used to see a lot of this stuff that was just broken on the next rafter, so um, it would be nice to have something a little farther apart. I would imagine if you were going to do something like this today. And of course the space sheathing would also be used to help hold up the fascia board. So you might not even have lookouts. Now here we do because I just took my model from a roof that I'm using in a series about different roof designs for garages, for two car garages. And um, this one here of course has the lookout because I use the plywood on the other side. So but a lot of times um, if it was an older house it wouldn't have a lookout. The one by six would actually be holding up the um, barge rafter or for the fascia board. And of course this would be solid sheathing and uh, wouldn't be uncommon to see a nail or something sticking between these boards um, from a roofer or something. Uh, just kind of one of those nails that would roll down the roof and uh, be positioned in there. Seen that before. I'm just going to go ahead and whip through this, give you an idea. The solid sheeting, um, one by six and then one by four. Seen this before. I've seen solid one by six. There's a variety of different ways to do this. And this is probably what most of you have seen a one by six um, roof in your garage or in your attic. And you have plywood on top of it with a composition shingles. And um, if that's the case, you're not spaced sheeting. Sheathing is only going to be for cedar, um, shakes, or shingles. It will not be. I, I shouldn't say that. I've seen it used for tile also. But it will. You're going to need solid sheathing for a composition roof. So this was kind of one of those things when uh, everybody was shingling their houses with shingles, at least in California. Here's an example of solid roof sheathing and this of course can be used for composition shingles. There it is. The roof's loaded and ready. And of course you can see where the boards are right next to each other. And of course um, these do break. About This is about a two foot break. And it's not uncommon to see this. I've seen this a lot. You would just have a break that would be uh, one rafter apart. And uh, sometimes it would be uh, two rafters apart. And this obviously wasn't a problem because I seen a lot of it when I was doing repairs on stuff like this. So again, here's the break with two boards. And of course, you can't see this over here. But here's another break here. Here's a break with three boards. And then two nails in each piece of sheathing. This took a lot of nails compared to a sheet of plywood. So anyway, that is it for this video. This is how things were done years ago when uh, they didn't have plywood. 